Hi guys, so we've got the uh, the 6S AR wing rebuilt with a new um, DYS 70 amp ESC uh, after the last attempt at the uh, the speed run um, had a little bit of a disaster with the, the Teco 60 amp ESC and uh, that was the uh, the result of that so um, yeah it was a pretty bad fire um, and that ended that particular attempt so what we're going to do today is I'm going to test this uh, the this 6S setup with this uh, AB uh, 1498 KV motor um, with uh, four different props. So we're going to start with this Groutner 6x6 speed prop, and then we've got a 6040 Dell Cyclone, we've got a 7056 Dell Cyclone, and, and we've also got um, a 7x6 Biblade, it's an APC prop. So we're going to check the, uh, the amp drawer on that. Um, when we selected the uh, the prop to use, we're going to do a 9 uh, launch uh, setting test. So we're going to basically suspend the plane, power it up until we get kind of zero buoyancy on the plane and that will be the throttle setting that I will use for my INAV auto launch. So that information is included in the INAV guide on the INAV fixed wing group and it was pointed out to me by Mark Hoffman the other day. So uh, I've not done that before so that's going to be interesting holding the plane, the 6S uh, monster. So let's give all that a go and uh, see what kind of results that we get. So unlike my normal method of um, building a plane and flying it, which usually ends in disaster uh, or a crash or something else or a, a fire in an ESC, I decided to use some science. I've uh, been flying planes for a year now, so uh, I've learned quite a lot. So I um, decided to try and use uh, Mark Hoffman's prop speed calculator uh, and run some numbers through on the different props for this motor. So uh, starting off with the Dell Cyclone 6040C, you can see here, with a 6L battery and a 1498 kV motor we're just out of the green and into the red so I'm thinking that probably will be okay as long as I don't give it long bursts of full throttle because um, I won't, don't want one of these props to disintegrate in the air. Um, if I look at the Groutner 6x6 then you can see here that um, the numbers have increased a little bit uh, but not hugely um, so this one looks like it could also be a potential um, prop for this setup Moving up to the 7056 Dal Cyclone, you can see that on Mark's calculator, the prop speed is uh, is way too high. So uh, I'll reserve judgment on that one until um, I've done the amp draw test and see uh, what it's like. You know, I may try it, um, but just take it nice and gently. And then the APC, um, the 7x6, that's the one that's the most aggr aggressive. So um, that one is uh, looking pretty high. So uh, I might uh, I might try it, or I might just skip it out. De again, depends on the how the amp draw test goes. So um, we'll uh, run these uh, these props and uh, we'll see what results we get. Okay, we're gonna start with the uh, the six by six prop and see what we get on the idle throttle first of all. So that's interesting, we're getting 2.3 amps on the meter and 1.65 amps on INAV. So there's some calibration work I need to do here to get INAV uh, to be reading the amp draw more accurately. Okay, let's push it up to uh, what's a normal cruise throttle, 1400. Just before I push it to full throttle, I'm just going to check the motor temperature. 
Mm, yeah, it's reasonably warm. And the ESC, well, the ESC is pretty hot. I'll disconnect that for a while, let that cool down. I'm not sure if the, uh, the effect of it going through the air is going to make that much difference, but uh, that's pretty hot. throttle 42 amps on the meter and 44 amps in line up so uh, that's quite interesting mm, motor not as hot ESC quite warm Okay, so here's a summary of the uh, the tests. Um, as you can see, the uh, the Dow Cyclone at the bottom was pulling 64, nearly 65 amps um, on full throttle. So um, I decided not to try the uh, the 7x6 APC. I didn't want to smoke the uh, ESC before I get anything in the air. Um, so I might try that once we do get it in the air. But uh, for now, um, I'm just going to leave that out and uh, and test it once I've tried all of these other props uh, in flight. So uh, that's kind of uh, the results of those tests. Still need to figure out how to uh, change the OSD uh, values of the uh, amperage uh, compared to the meter. Uh, that should be fairly straightforward and then uh, we should be pretty much good to go. So uh, let's move on to the, uh, the test for setting the auto launch throttle. Um, this is going to be pretty scary. to occur around 80% throttle um, and it started to want to push against my hand about 85 so we'll figure that out in terms of how that converts into uh, throttle position and uh, we'll set that for the auto launch. We're good to go. So I'm looking forward to trying to beat my current uh, fastest speed on the air wing which is 190. Um, dying to get out and try it. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do that soon and uh, of course I'll uh, Record it all for posterity. So that's it, guys. I hope you found that useful. Take it easy. Return to launch. Ignition on. Jesus Christ, it went straight up. Oh my god, that sounded mental.